A condition is where commands are only carried out if something is true. In the case of a multiple conditional statement, you're worried about several possible cases. So, for example, depending on the number of numbers that you got right in this week's lottery, well, that will determine how much you get. If you get less than three, you get nothing. Get three, you've won a tenner. Get four, you've won some money. Get five, you've won a lot of money. And get six, you come and see me for my bank account number. Anything else, well, if you got seven, you're cheating. And if you got less than zero, you're cheating again. So we won't have those cases at all. Multiple conditions are set up when there are many things that a particular variable could be and you want to do different things depending on the value of that variable. So here is some pseudocode that gives an example of a multiple condition. As always, we have to give the program a real name. In this case, multiple condition. Next, we're going to define any variables used. This little program uses age. We're going to check whether you're old enough to understand something as complicated as programming. So we're going to ask the user to input their age. That answer will go into a variable, age, in memory, as an integer. Now comes the interesting bit. Depending on the value of age, we want the program to do certain things. So if the age is less than 16, obviously the user is much too young to understand. So we're going to output too young to the screen. If the user is 16 to 19, well, we're going to output just right to the screen. If they're 20, well, there's a hill coming. Be careful, because it says so on the screen. And if it's anything else, well, else would be anything that's not under 16, not 16 to 19, and not 20, so else would be anything over 20, well then the program will output over the hill to the screen. That's all the cases that we're going to consider. So there's an end depending. That closes the depending on. And finally, there's an end program. And the end program just tells us that it's the end of the program. We've got to have that there. But notice the indenting. Everything between program and end program is indented. Anything between depending on and end depending is indented. And anything that belongs to a case, well that's indented too. So output is indented for case, for depending on, and for program. That's the correct way to show your code. And for program. That's the correct way to show your code. Here is exactly the same program as a mind map. Here we're defining the program name, program multiple conditions, and then we're defining age as integer, and we're going to ask the user for their age. Now we come to the depending on, and that has four different cases. Less than 16, 16 to 19, 20, and anything else. As explained in the previous section, anything else is anything over 20 in this case. And for each case, we're going to output 
a different string to the screen. If you're under 16, you're too young to understand programming. If you're 16 to 19, well, that's just the right age. At 20, there's a hill coming. And don't ever get as old as me, because you're over the hill. Now, that all has to have an end program at the end. But as before, note the indenting. The output here is indented for case. The case is indented for depending on. And the depending on is indented for the program. That way we know what every bit of code is doing and what it belongs to. That's good programming practice.